Well guys, today I'm opening my brand new repo shop. It's about time we get one up and running here in the city of Elm Creek. We're gonna pull in, get set up, and meet our first employee for the day. He's coming in very shortly. This building's got brand new vending machines. I had to put those in between our jobs. I'm always needing a snack, so that's nice. Here's our main office. Got a nice picture of my grandpa's combine on there and a huge fridge. You're probably wondering why I'm looking at tractors. Well, we're going to repo one, a 6R. Specifically, it's on the south side of town, and that's our first job today. I mean, we're already getting started. The banks gave us a list. We have two jobs today. One of them's a crazy one. That's going to be at the end, so make sure you stick around. But, uh, yeah, we're going to wait for our new employee to roll in, and then we're going to get going on to the first job. I don't know what to name this dog. If you guys have any suggestions, put them down in the comments. I might pick it. He just walks around in circles, though. He's a little confusing. All right, here, let's get his uh, bowl over here. Let's fill him up. Don't tell me this is the employee. I found this guy on Facebook. He said he needed a job. Yo, hello, man. What's up? You here for the assistant repo, man? Yes, sir. I met you on Facebook. Your name is... What is it again? Jacob. Jacob. Oh, jeez. You know, I've had a Jacob work with me in the past. He was very unhelpful. Hopefully, you're not like him. But welcome to the team, man. This is our new shop. Uh, we're going to get started here in about 10 minutes. We're going to get going. So make sure you got your hard hat on. We got a big right. couple of jobs today. I'm going to give you a little bit of a shop tour, though. So, we're just getting started. So, all I've got is my GMC pickup, AT4. Uh, it should be able to pull some gooseneck trailers. Pretty big. Duramax engine in it. I can get, uh, you know, maybe 20,000 pounds max limit. So, great truck. Two overhead doors on the west end. In here, we have the office space. This is where we have our accountant do all the paperwork. And uh, tells us what the jobs are, our list for the day. But, uh, actually, if you come around the computer... We're repoing a John Deere 6R. That's a big, heavy equipment, man. We're going to get it from a farmer. They couldn't make payments on it, so that's our first one on the list. Here's our parts list. You were going to have to get an F-250 oil change. I did buy an F-250, so that's on the way. Uh, only problem is it's going to need transmission, turbo, oil injectors, everything like that. So, you know, we got a lot on the list. There's the John Deere, man. Look at that, 2021. So I already got it on the board. That's just, uh, you know, how it goes. Back here, we have the rear doors. We'll probably keep some bigger semis once we get them. Uh, some flatbed repo trucks will go back here. Nice big space just for shoving vehicles back here. It's totally secure. You can pin bolt both the doors so people can't come steal their vehicles back. So, All ready right. to get going today. We're going to go with my truck, and then I can only take one person. I got My truck is full of parts and stuff for the shop. So, want well, to drive your go-kart? Yeah, I'll take it. All right, sounds good. I mean, you try to keep up with me. How fast does that go? Uh, like 43 miles per hour. Jeez, okay, you'll have no problem with that. You know that old farm located in town? I think the guy's name is John. You ever yeah. heard of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the first place we're going. I heard he ended up leasing an X9 combine from the dealership. They got that repoed, so, uh, yeah. That was the first big one. Some other repo company did that. They, uh, actually dropped it. Fell off the trailer because they couldn't get the thing running, so they had to trailer the thing back fell off and it hit the bridge on the highway so yeah that worked out good for them and they are currently out of business so we're the only right. repo shop in elm creek right now and we are going to go head on over and i hope we can figure out how to get the thing running it's a john deere 6r it's pretty easy i heard it's located in the guy's shed so i'm gonna bring all the hot wearing tools i have that way if it's possible we'll hot wear the thing you know if not we're gonna have to tow it back with your go-kart hopefully that thing's got a winch on it yeah all right all right, sounds good. Yeah, you just follow me. Here we go. Fire up the GMC in my new truck. I'll right, we'll back it out here. Oh, almost just ran him over. Okay, he's good. Here we go. Get the old turbo spinning. Oh, yeah, boys. I kind of feel bad for old John, but you know, when you don't make your payments, this kind of stuff happens. He's an apple farmer, and he also does grapes, too. That's his big thing, and he does have a machine. A new Holland, that's one of his last pieces of equipment he uses. So he's got a whole vineyard going on. It's actually really cool. High quality grapes, man. I'm telling you. Unfortunately, guy has no money. The business is not very profitable. He almost breaks even with it. But, you know, we're going to go take his uh, John Deere 6R. Because we're getting paid $5,000 to do absolutely nothing. Just get to drive a John Deere tractor. So here's the spot. So the best spot to pull in is Garrison Gas Station. We're going to pull in right here. Pretend like we're getting diesel. We're going to scout it out right across the street. Pretend like you're getting racing fuel in it. Perfect. Got your repo outfit on like I told you to. Nice. Yep. 
Here's a pair of binoculars. Take a look. Here we go. I got my binoculars on. Let's take a look. Oh, yep. There it is. It's in the red shed. Let's scan for people. There's no one around the farmyard. There is one dog, though. It's a canine. So you gotta watch out for that. Okay, Jacob? If it bites you, not my fault. Okay? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, we should make a move. There's no one there. Let's go ahead and run across the street. Okay, here. Here's what I'm gonna do. It's located in the service bays, and I can go underground and try and cut the wire so that you can disable the uh, alarm system, okay? Right, I'm gonna go yep. under. All right, here we are. I'm underneath it. I gotta find the wire. Oh, yep. There it is. Let me go ahead and cut it. Jacob, I cut it, man. You should be good. Try and All get right. in it. Yeah, man. All right, here we go. I'm putting the two wires together. Ready? Fire it up. Put some electrical tape around there. All right, it's hot wired, man. We better get out of here. That, that's right. step one, okay? Turn on the beacons. Pretend you're like the farmer going on the road. Get that thing out of here. I think he's coming. The dog's on his way. Oh, geez. He's, he's coming close. I got to get back to the gas station. All right, boys. What we're going to have to do, this is like step two of the mission. I got to save Jacob's little go-kart. That's his only vehicle he got. Here we go. Lift it. Oh, yeah. I'm strong. I got the tailgate down this time. There we go. Loaded in the back. All right, here we go, boys. I think we're successful. The guy isn't out here yet, so he probably hasn't noticed. It's a pretty quiet tractor. Jacob's right ahead. Does 35 miles an hour, so we'll catch up to him. But so far, repo number one is successful. That would be the easiest $5,000 I've ever made. It's repo business is very profitable. I like it. Oh, look at you and your John Deere tractor cutting the field. Can't really do that in this pickup yet. I might put some really big all-terrains, but not yet, so... For now, we're just going to stick on the road, but the shop is right up here. We're going to pull in, get that thing locked up. All the doors get closed. Oh, she's okay. Yeah, you can get your go-kart unloaded. It's, it's a little beat up. I was going pretty fast. We're going to lock down the doors for now. The place is all locked up. It should be good, and we're going to head straight on to the second repo of the day. That's right, boys. It's going to be a ton of fun, and let's see. Next up on the list... Pull up my phone real quick. All right, looks like we're showing mobile home. Wait, what? Jacob, what's a mobile home? Um, I think it's a mobile home. Does that mean it has wheels? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll have to see what we're getting ourselves into. This could be a very big scouting mission. Uh, You know what? We might need a go-kart. Should we just leave it in there? Yeah, I'll just sit on the back. Okay, uh, that works. Okay, anyways, we'll scout it out, and then I don't really have any big trucks if we have to tow this thing. Here we go, fire it up. You good back there? Put your seatbelt on. Yeah, I'm all good. Cool. All right, we're heading out here, round number two, and it's uh, way on the south side of town, so we got a little bit of a drive. All right, let's tell Blaze. Keep this place locked down, okay? No one goes in or out. We got a John Deere 6R in there. That's a $230,000 tractor. Keep it on close eye. All right, we're heading out of here, and like I said, we got to get on the interstate. It's a far one, but I don't know. Once we get there, if this is an actual person's home that they're renting, I don't know how we're going to tow it with a GMC. This is how you merge onto the highway. Oh, yeah, boys. Took a shortcut like Jacob. Here we go. All right, here's our exit. Let's jump on down. Looks clear. 10 mile an hour stop, boys. It's called a rolling. Don't do that. Nice little underpass of the bridge. We'll be here in a short. Watch out, buddy. I got train horns on this boy. Okay, we're clear. Take a right. Hit the jump. Oh, yeah. Looking nice. But it's right down the road from here. And I'll see you guys in a few. All right, Jacob. Look on the right side. It's right up here. We're going to do drive-by real slow. All right, which one is it? I don't... They're both on wheels. Uh, um, I think it's the blue one. The blue one? Okay. Uh, we're going to pull around to the park, which is right on the back side of it. We're going to sneak through the woods and check out whatever specifics it's got on the sheet. Oh, here. Here's a restaurant. There it goes. Deploying the go-kart. I'm going to launch a drone and follow you, okay? All right, Jacob. I got the drone on you, man. I'm going to follow you, and you're like a kid going through the park, Okay. Say you took a wrong yep. turn. I can't keep up. Be careful. All right, guys. I'm getting really good quality of Jacob. He's checking out what the specifics are. I mean, what's the dimension on this? About 50 feet long? That's what the sheet says. Yeah, that's what I'm saying here. I found the trailer hitch here at the front. Trailer hitch? Wait, is it covered up by those bushes I see on the camera? Yep. 
Okay, uh, check that out. I think there's a VIN implanted on that. AC unit, that was included. Let's check if the other one has one. If you can't afford the payments on that, I'm just sorry. This one's probably about $50,000. A lot more expensive. Be more reasonable to uh, repo. Check the VIN on it. What was the VIN for it? I forgot. Something with a V. This has a V and more numbers. 5129? Yep. Okay, we should be good to go then. They must be expecting our company. All the curtains are closed. All right, I'm going to grab the GMC. I'm going to get the drone back to our truck. We're going to come back, pick this thing up. Okay, get the chains ready on it. We're going to have to go very quick with this job. Here we go, swing it around. I'm going to have to back straight up. We're going to have to make a zero noise. I don't know if there's anybody in it, but I was heard that they're both out at the supermarket getting groceries, so they're going to come back to no house. Also, Jacob, we're going to have to take all the blocks underneath and we're going to have to put them to the side to pull this thing out make it trailerable okay there's wheels underneath the stairwells are disconnectable so here we're going backing up get me hooked up okay all right i think i'm connected i feel some weight on the back let's go ahead and get this thing knocked out underneath take the stairwell out okay all right I'll see you guys when we get this job complete we can tow this thing out of here good job jacob we got this trailer cleared out i got the oversized load sign on the back should be good got the brake lights mounted on we're set to roll out i got five axles should be enough to pull this thing out of here. It was already implanted on. I don't know about this. Uh, should hold up. I got about four bolts through the through holes. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. Jacob, you want to be my escort? Oversized yeah, load coming you. through. I got the hazards on. I got as many lights as possible. Here we are. We're pulling heavy. If there's any traffic, tell them to move. Okay? Yep. This is the official biggest load I've ever pulled with this truck. It's on wheels, though, so it's not as bad. It's got a lot of axles, helps out with the weight displacement, and when I'm turning down these hills, man, it can get rough. Jacob, do a donut on that thing. I want to see what it looks like. Do it again. Go over there. Take a right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's doing donuts in the go-kart. All right, here's our turn. Let's take it nice and wide. Am I going to clear it? Uh, just cleared that sign. I just cleared. Jacob, Jacob. Okay, he's fine. He's got his helmet on. Did I just hit you with my rear axle? Yeah, I think I can go under it, though. Really? Okay, hold on. Let me watch this. Oh, yeah, he's going under it. Nice. All right. Okay, we got to slow down for this bump. This is going to get rough. Actually, it might work out fine. <laughs> A lot of leagues are out today in the baseball. Good old game of baseball. Get in front of me, okay? We need a Ford Escort. We're going to be going on the main road of Elm Creek here very shortly. There you are. All right, All right there's the shop, guys. I'll see you when we get to our first turn up here. We're going to have to take it nice and wide. Hopefully, I don't get any street signs. We did have to get a light removed. 50 feet cannot swing on that road, so... Had that removed earlier this morning. Here we are. I'm going to go on the impeding lane of traffic. Swing it. There we go. Come on, boy. Looking good. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. I definitely took out a sign back there. There's no doubt. Just can't take out any of those telephone poles. Or else no one can call their grandma. Alright. Anyways. We're coming up on the shop. And here we are. Blaze. Got everything secured. You're my Milwaukee? Yep. He said everything's good. Yeah, we should clear it. Should be good back there. Just barely, though. Look at that. This thing falls behind pretty well. He's got a tennis ball. What are you doing? Get that away from me. Oh, my gosh. What are you throwing these tennis balls at me for? So, where are we going to put this? In the shop? Or how does this work? Hey, rookie. Open up the yeah. door. I'm going to try and back in, okay? Yeah. No, the other door. Wrong one. I can't swing in that. We're going to go in for door number one. I'm going to try and get it in. Tell me what I need to do. I can't see a single thing. Just keep back. <laughs> hey, you made me hit the wall. You are a terrible backup man. Oh, jeez. Right, I got to reattempt this. All right, talk to me. Yep, keep coming. Straight back? Yep, straight back. All the way. I can't trust this, dude. I should have put a camera back there. All right. How am I looking? 
Is this gonna fit in the shop? Yeah. Just keep coming. Okay. What am I looking like? Still got a lot of room. Keep coming. There you go. You're Dude, ready. I think it just fits the dimensions of the shop. Hold on, let me get the truck unattached. Yeah, you might be hitting the wall a bit back there though. So we're all, we're all good though. As long as it's not in the office. How's that for backing up skills? We just barely hit the wall. Okay, well, let's try shutting the door if we can't do that. We're gonna right. have to go in on an angle. Moment of truth, come on, boy. Just barely clear it. I mean, I might have to chop this off. I don't think the bank will like- Watch out for the door! Rookie, rookie! Oh, that's a rookie mistake. Watch out. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, it's just gonna clear it. Look at that, boys. That is something else. Well, there you go. The biggest repo I've ever officially done. GMC, 2,500 AT4, pulled it too. Now I gotta go inside and clean out all the junk. So, Jacob... Oh, he shut the office door. Obviously, he doesn't want to do that. <laughs> what you need? Clean out the trailer. Eh, it's my break. Ah, dang it. I did give him a break. Well, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode on the Repo Shop. I hope you enjoyed a longer video today. I had to come back with something better for that shorter one. But thank you guys for watching so much. Drop a like. Of course, helps me out so much. And subscribe down below. That way you get notified when I post. That way you don't miss another episode from me and Jacob. He's a runner. I think he's on the high school track team. Not sure, but thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.